moon rope or unlazo a la luna by Lois Ellert. Moon rope. It's a Peruvian folktale and it's written in both English and Spanish. I am, however, only going to read the English part. Guess what that is. Mole was taking a break from, from digging for worms when Fox came by. Mole, he said, if you could have anything in the world, what would it be? Worms, worms, more worms, Mole answered. What about you? I want to go to the moon. The moon? Mole gulped how? I'll think of something, said Fox, and he ran off through the grass. Fox liked running through the grass. It tickled his fur, and that gave him an idea. Why not make a rope of grass? With a loop at one end, he could hitch it up to the tip of the moon and climb up. Fox ran back. Mole, I've got it. Both of us can climb the moon on my rope. Both of us, M Mole blinked. There are big worms up there, Fox said. Huge! Mole's stomach growled. He'd go. Mole and Fox braided grass into a long rope and they waited for a crescent moon to appear. Then Fox twirled the rope high over his head. chunk. It fell down and hit him right on the nose. Fox growled. He was mad. Maybe the birds could carry our rope, said Mole. But the birds didn't want to go to the moon. Just hitch this rope to the tip, Fox said Fox. We'll do, we'll do the rest. So the birds took the, the rope in their beaks and they flew up, up, up into the sky. Mole and Fox waited. When they returned, the bird said, your rope is ready. And Fox started climbing, paw over paw, eager to be the first on the moon. Mole followed, claw over claw. Fox kept his eyes on the moon, but not Mole. He kept glancing back to Earth. Suddenly, Mole's claws slipped and he fell through the air, down, down, down. Plump, Mole landed on a bird. They had been following the two climbers and Mole hung on tightly as he was carried back home. He hoped to land unnoticed. But all the creatures were watching. They laughed at Mole. Maybe you didn't slip, said Snake. Maybe you let go on purpose so you could come back home. Mole was upset by all the fuss and he ran away and dug a deep tunnel and he stayed there for a long, long time. To this day, Mole prefers to come out after dark, moving quietly in the moonlight, avoiding other creatures and he never ever listens to Fox. But what about Fox? Did he make it to the moon? The birds say that on a clear night, they can see him looking down on Earth. Mole says he hasn't seen him. Have you?